What's more, apparently that Avalog of old who could be up to a hundred feet tall? Huh? Bro, what? In it to win it, my guy. In it to win it. You can't be that big. Actually, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is he actually. How the f Yo, what is up, Ming Superstars? Here we are back on another video of Pokemon Legends Arceus. And um, now we have this new one where we get to fly, bro. We get to fly. Kind of went ahead of the story, as again, I'm just trying to like pull through and just try to get ahead of the game, you know, because this game came out. I don't know. But we have to go over there as our destination. Yo, it feels so nice having this thing, bro. Bro, it took me a while. Like, you see that uh, temple looking building over there? That we have to like go through. We have to do like some puzzles and some like crazy stuff we have to do. Wait, how do you go down? Alright, what is this now? I just kept going on with the story to see what should I really be doing. So we're going to be fighting like some big Pokemon here. What the? Crunchy salt. Oh, is this the where we're going to battle? Oh, someone's calling me? Your arc phone is beeping. Why is it beeping? You obtain a piece of eternal ice. Okay, that's cool. Wahahaha. How did you get up here at last? This summit is conquered. Did you just freaking climb this mount? This icy freaking iceberg that's on land? And I see you made it too. Well, I, f I fly here. I got the I got the Pokemon thing to fly here. Flew down to this place and obtained the eternal eyes. Did you? What drives that burning zeal of yours? I wonder. Everything, bro. You gave Garrick the eternal ice. I do have to respect the efforts you've put in. I may still have my own doubts weighing on my mind, but I will make the necessary preparations, my, so so that you can face my Lord Avalog. Meet me at Ice Peak Arena. Oh, now we get to meet it. Okay, okay, okay. Now, don't try to repeat the wondrous feat you're about to see me perform. A tall leap like this can only be managed by highly toned bodies like mine. I can see your body, bro. Your belt. Your belt. Okay, your belt. <laughs> Till next we meet. Oh, it doesn't show us. Damn. Yeah, there's no way I can make that jump. Where are we going? Where are we going? All right, we're going over there and we're using our bird. Let's go. We flying through the sky. Shut up. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm going to get him with a regular Pokeball. Volo. Why if it's an, if it isn't Luigi Dan, what a pleasure finding a familiar face or any face in this far corner of the Alabaster Icelands. I came to bring Garrick an order of sword caps. He was more than willing to have a chat about Avalog. What do you say? Interested in a bit of a gossip? Absolutely, sir. And why wouldn't you be? So Avalog, yes, the fifth of his always nobles. That he is, and you know what? He's an absolute beast. I don't know what this Pokemon even looks like. Well, yes, according to what I was told, not only does he barge you with the chunks of ice, he also fires off massive icicles and he can cause sharp ice crystals to erupt from the ground below you. Doesn't that seem a bit too powerful to take on? What's more, apparently that Avalog of old who could be up to a hundred feet tall? Huh? Bro, what? Doesn't that seem a bit too big to take on? Oh, you'll be alright. You just have to eat some sword caps and then give your training your all. Nothing better for building muscle that than that. Most please. <laughs> Onward now. To the arena. You gonna help me, my G? Or are you just gonna let me be alone? 
Hmm, yes, well, I did want to see that Avalog, but perhaps not at the cost of my life. So I suppose my freezing digits and I will be off. Aww. I would prefer to have this guy beside my adventures, not the other one. Hey! 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 Take a chill pill. What you gonna do? You can't chase me from there. Yeah, that's right, boy. What the fudge is that? Is this... <gasps> Can I catch that? Eh. I have an ultra ball. You think I can get him? Run for your life! <laughs> that was really close. Probably have to throw one of these things. I don't know if I can get him. I don't know what level is he. Run! 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 Oh! What? 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 I am freaking mind blown right now, bro. <laughs> Yeah, I know the Nana Berries help a lot. Like, it'll take one, two, I think the highest it took me was three tries to get one of these guys, so... It really helps, it really helps. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out of Skadoodle. Uh-oh. Ouch. <laughs> I took a pretty bad fall damage, my guy. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's do this. Let's uh, go. I have to fight you first. So we are to quell Avalog as you wish. In the end, the strength of your feelings won out. Or maybe your real strength comes from the way that you walk among both people and Pokemon. Well, I suppose I'd better get to work making some bombs using that eternal ice. I've heard how they are made. And with muscles like mine, it'll be only a moment's work. You've got it. Because Moiskles. <laughs> and there you have it. If you truly wish to call Avalog, then walk on. The path lies with but to know that Avalog will hurl chunks of ice at you without relent. You'll need unrivaled dodging abilities. I'm going. In it to win it, my guy. In it to win it. You can't be that big. Actually, whoa, 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 is he actually? How the f This is Avalon? Holy sh! <laughs> Can I go down there? What, what should I do? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh. oh no, my Pokemon can't even defeat this guy. Can I even... I can't even go down there. Please, man, please. What is that? 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 Okay, I don't know how to dodge that, but I'll figure it out. Okay, how the fuck? Oh! Okay, okay, that one requires... Okay, I was like, well, it's taking forever to make my Pokeball reach over there. It's level 56. Well, damn, this guy's gonna be dead. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh wow, going straight for Agile style. And he's dead. Damn bro, this is gonna take like almost every single Pokemon of mines. Bro, he's just so freaking massive. Like holy fudge, take a chill pill bro. Okay, I think... No? But that's super effective though. Nah, crap. Okay, okay, good, 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 Okay, I don't know how to dodge that one thing though. You know like when he like, um, what you call it? You know when he shoot those spike balls on me? Like that part, I do not know how to dodge that one. I think that's the only one I'm gonna struggle. This part is no problem. Okay, it's this part. What you gonna, what you gonna do, what you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Okay, 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 okay. Just keep pressing Y. This could ah, oh, dang it. Oh. Oh, throw, throw, just throw any, throw any Pokemon there. I don't wanna get injured during that fight over there. Man, does he not do any? Oh damn, he dodged your attack, bro. Oh, he's dead. What? Psychic then? Oh. Now he's dead. Now my Pokemon's gonna be fainted. Maybe I just stop doing the strong Pokemon to actually do what's his weakness. I don't know, bro. I don't know what the fudge am I doing. Nice. Okay. Bro, <laughs> this is actually hard. <laughs> Okay, what's next? Okay, it's just this last part. I don't know how to do this last part. Oh my god. I don't know what to do. How do you dodge that? Okay, I know that one. Wait. If you use your brief window of invulnerability. Oh, the dodging gives you in. Can I continue battle? If you're choosing it, you can carry over some of the progs you made. Depleting this Pokemon's frenzy dodge. Okay. Keep previous? I don't know. I don't know what this do. There's the... Bro, what? Oh, this is what you mean previous. It just goes back like one gauge because I know I was almost down to the... Okay, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So dodging gives you invulnerability. Okay. Not easy, but okay. We'll take it. I was like, what the fudge is this guy waiting for? Get over here, fool. Okay. That took a while for my Pokemon to reach to him. Okay. 
Okay, do your thing, bro. Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Let's go. And use strong style on him. Can't can't afford him to dodge my move now. Nice, my guy. Nice. Bring it on, bro. What? Okay, now things have gotten more serious now. I thought we we're gonna have like this whole area of myself for myself, but it seems that's. What the fudge? Okay. Hey, okay, I just need to do perfect timing for this. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, no! Ah, oh, got me. Okay, this is bad, bad. Okay, I was like, when's it gonna hit him? <laughs> Should we just do strong style again? I think we should go strong again. Oh, dang it. Oh no, there's no way he can dodge this. He's finished. <gasps> he survived! Oh, he survived that! Oh, he survived that! Yo, Electro Buzz for the win, bro. Electro Buzz for the win. Throw, 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 throw. What are you gonna do now, bud? Okay. He's gonna throw some freaking spikes, okay. There's the first one, there's the second one. Alright, alright, alright. No worries, no worries. Uh, uh. Oh crap, I messed up the timing, I messed the timing! Down bro, give me a chance! Okay, this should be the last bit. Okay, we'll have to go strong again. Dodge it, dodge it, are you gonna dodge it, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it? No, there's no way, there's no way he's gonna dodge this. He's finished. Sorry, Electra Buzz. Electra Buzz, not Electra, Electra Buzz. Do your thing, bro. Yes, sir. Come on, okay. So I just died once, but holy crap. Messed up my timing, but... Bro, I was so shocked how big he was. I thought they were just lying. I thought maybe just a tiny dude who can just go so fast. But no, he was definitely massive. Bro, imagine having that Pokemon. Dang. Yo, a lot of my Pokemon's leveled up. Nice, nice. And I have one Pokemon's like level 70 I caught. Wow. Mission accomplished, man. We did it.
Where'd he go? Just went back to his sleeping? Garrick, sir, you needn't look quite so downcast. But but seeing mighty Avalok quelled and by such a slight child, a child that fell from the very sky, is this Luigi Dan girl some kind of monster in disguise? <laughs> she is no monster. She's the one who risked her life without a second thought in order to quell our frenzied suffering nobles. Luigi Dan. Gary cares for the Pearl Clan with all his heart and believes in Almighty Sinnoh just as deeply. So he has feared more than any of us that getting involved with the Diamond Clan and your galaxy team could cause our people to flag in their devotion to Almighty Sinnoh. But that will change. Irida? I know your feels will change once you see what I've seen. Luigi then has much to teach us. She's shown us how we can overcome all manner of strife so long as our Pokemon are with us. She's made me want to help a Glaceon realize greater strength as well and see my whole world grow broader. It seems you already changed, Irida. I knew you could pull that off, Luigi Dan. Well, I got the whole squad here. <laughs> as long as Melly don't show up, we good. You quelled every last frenzied noble. So is that space-time rift going to start closing up now or what? Nah, we probably might have to go there. There's little way of knowing for sure, though the rift does seem perhaps a little smaller somehow. Let's hope so anyway. Well, with any luck, things will settle down now. Although, even if the rift does start spitting out more of that strange light, we should still be alright as long as we've got Luigi still relying on me. Indeed, we should be. It's good to have her on our side. You know something, Irida. We may never agree on who's got it right about Almighty Sinnoh, but your Pearl Clan folk aren't all bad in my book. Man, these two just have beef with each other. I don't think the other folks have beef except you two. <laughs> Looks who's finally seen reason. Anyway, now that we've quelled the last noble, I say we pray grim old Commander Kamado a visit and see if he'll finally crack a smile for us. Let's go. Yo, I gotta take a picture of this squad. Can I like change my pose? No? Yo, we're all covered in snow. Can I get any everybody? Does everybody has a look at me? Hold up, maybe if I like... No, they're all still staring. Maybe if I stand a little bit forward. <laughs> Hold up, bro. It's hard to take pictures these days, bro. Alright, let's do it. Say cheese, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, rough that dust off. All that big battle you went through. <laughs> Oh man, that is unbelievable. Look at Skedaddle Skadoodle. Skedaddle Skadoodle. Actually, it's surprising enough, I have not done... I probably did one or two, three side quests, but otherwise I have not done anything else. I see you've caught two poke... Oh yeah, I did. But two? Oh yeah, I did. Yo, we got this dude. Was my champ or something? Oh, Alpha. Yeah, we caught an Alpha Pokemon, man. That is just crazy. Oh, it seems you made it. Okay, okay. Gonna add that new guy in my team, bro. Dang, I need 3,000 points. Dang, that's gonna take a while. Because I remember I caught like 60 Pokemons and it gave me just over a thousand and it was still not enough and seeing that i need to hit three thousand man that's something else i kind of probably want to max that out because i do want a few pokemon here in this game be transferred to my pokemon but and you guys will see in the future videos probably when dlc 2 comes out or the future terror raids not this seven star terror raid that's coming this week but hopefully the next one though all right let's get out of no I'm getting confused because the B is for like when we're using the Pokemon, when we're riding on the Pokemon, and this is the running one. Okay. Yo, top G, old man. Gonna smile? <clears throat> should, I, should I give them a voice acting? Each of the Pokemon nobles become frenzied, and now each of them has been quelled. We still have no explanation for why this calamity befell, befell us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. 
and to think peace will be restored to Hizue by the hand of our mysterious Riftborn helper. When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. Go nourish yourself at the wallflower and allow yourself a good, long rest. Don't forget, the survey corpse work is not over. It does not end until our people can live here in his way without fearing the Pokemon around us. Bro, that wasn't his voice, bro. That, that sounded like a narrator voice or something. <laughs> How, how can I say like an, like a like a strict old man voice? Hmm. I don't know how to say it. I'm I never done any voice acting classes, but dang. All right, let's try with this one. I don't know if I can do Laventon. Okay, uh, let's see. I don't know what kind of voice should I do with this guy. Thanks for okay. I cannot. I can't think of any way I can make this. Wait, Laventon, that's the old, the guy, the prof this professor dude who's doing the research. Thanks for this, <laughs> that sounds so weird. Thanks for this nice, sizable, helping of potato mochi, Benny, old chum. Oh, and if there's anything else that you'll recommend, by all means, bring it out. Hey, I can't do his voice, there's no way. And there's no way I can do Ray. Yeah, I can't do voice acting. And now that Avalog's quelled too, we can survey all over his way. I certainly had my reservations as to whether Avalog needed quelling, but if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. I hate to think what kind of havoc the frenzied nobles could have wrecked if Luigi had never came to us. Still, even with all the nobles quelled, the rift doesn't seem to be closing, huh? Although, wait, if the rift were to disappear, would that mean Luigi didn't be stuck here? I guess so. That shocked face he had for a second. Well, our little team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution, I've no doubt. Even if we don't, you'll always have a home here in Jubilife Village, Luigi Dan. Now then, tomorrow's soon upon us, and it'll be another hard day at work for the Survey Corps. Don't forget what we've got our sights on. Nothing less than a completed Pokédex. With you around, that Pokédex is as good as complete. Hey, how about I just, ta just tag along as your assistant? Assistant? Come on. Come now, Ray. Don't sell yourself short. You're a full-fledged member of the Survey Corps, too. Well, sure, I guess I am. In any case, time for a hearty meal and a heavy sleep. Uh, oh, wait, not kaboom. Kaboom! What happened? What? happened bro what the f happened bro the whole city got destroyed the whole mountain dispersed what happened huh what what is this this doesn't look good luigi dan What happened? He looks mad like, now what? What do we do? <laughs> Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the rift in space time. Now the entire sky has gone red. I have a word from the commander. You're to report to his office at once. Ah, uh, now what? Hmm. The way the sky has changed. It is ominous. Very ominous indeed. I can't do his voice or I cannot. What's this about, Commander? You did call us here to discuss the quelling of all the nobles, didn't you? That, that can wait. There is more pressing concern here that must be addressed. The first strike of that strange lightning, the one that drove Clever into a frenzy. It struck the night that, that Luigi then fell from the sky, did it not? It only seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Who or what are you really, Luigi Dan? A survey corps member? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Why are you asking me? I don't know. No knowledge of what the fudge is going on. I've been dropped here. Did my stuff and you're asking me now? 
I don't really know. Indeed. <laughs> you came from the rift, as did the lightning. You're connected to these frenzies, are you not? Did you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you yourself brought about? And having gained our trust, what then? What is it you're really after here? Hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest Luigian has wronged us. Exactly. And besides, do you really think she's got that sort of fearsome power it'll take to make all this happen? Let me ask you in turn. Can you prove beyond a doubt that she is free from guilt? This person, this stranger, appeared out of a rift in space-time. Who here can guarantee she is who she says? Who here can guarantee she is to be trusted? But that's... no one can do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Luigian supposed to do then? Yeah, come on, bro. She will be given the chance to investigate this latest disaster. But not as a member of the Galaxy team. She remains a suspect unless she can clear her name. What? What am I a suspect of, bro? You have no evidence of that and now you're asking me to get an evidence to prove on you on that part. That makes no sense, old man. It makes literally no sense. Like, are you even... <laughs> this is not how detective work. If you have no evidence to show that I'm the bad guy here, then I don't need to show evidence that I am the bad guy. <laughs> There are those in our village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky. Well, dang, bro. Okay. I'll get a boat and run away if you want. And so I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the galaxy team. Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No, until you restore our world to its rightful state and proven your innocence beyond doubt. Is that clear? Sillin. Yes, sir. Well, dang. How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in Luigi Dan? Do not attempt to intervene on her behalf. I will do what I must as the commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. They did absolutely nothing, bro. I did all the work, man. I did all the work. Oh, man. As the goblin... Oh, man. As the green goblin says, bro. Uh... They will love to see the hero fall. But I've not forgotten your deeds, nor the unusual skill you have displayed. That is why I've chosen to let you walk out of here free rather than clap you in chains. Cause that in the beginning, bro. You're about to become my my list I'm gonna hate on. For the the because I also hate Melly, dude. That guy was pissing me off. You're to be expelled from the village? Seriously? Orders are orders. Damn. Let's go. See you again. I'll miss you, Ray. Leventon. My man. Hey, what the fudge? How about you? Will you say something? She's not saying anything. Man, I was about to check some new clothes. Crap. Bro, it was not... I guess we should have expected this from a stranger from the sky. What did I do? What did I do? We can take it from here, ma'am. Understood. However, the decision was mine to accept this stranger as a member of the Survey Corps. It is only right that I should personally escort her from the village and to the field land camps. I'll come too. As will I, naturally. I'll allow it. Then, I'll mark you all down as bound for the field land's camp safe, safe travels. Man, that sucks, bro. I did all that. I, I could have died. I mean, I did die like twice in this game. But come on.
I can't believe the boss would do this. You quelled all those nobles, frenzies under his own orders. Quite right. Moreover, even if you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn it red. That is utterly intolerable, and I might add, absurdly unscientific. As a man of science, I must fight such illogical thinking tooth and nail. You must not. You will only cause Luigi Dan more pain if you are driven out as well for defending her. However, there are others who might offer help. You've been an aid to both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan, of course. Perhaps Adaman and or Erida might take you in. Though I'm afraid they both already returned to their respective settlements. I bet you could at least start by finding Leon at the Grand Tree Arena. Not sure where maybe be if you want the Diamond Clan. Don't die alone out there. That's in order. I will ensure you have all you need to complete the survey the commander has tasked you with. If I might offer my advice, in this life you will meet with both admiration and abuse from others. How others choose to view you is a choice only they can make. You cannot make it for them. All that truly matters is that you hold firm to your own values. What of the dream I first shared with you on the Prelude Beach to complete the Pokédex? That dream simply won't come true without you. Well, now I kind of feel glad. I don't want to do side quests for these people. Well, do you guys still allow me to like rest and do stuff here? Because isn't this the Galaxy Team stuff? I don't know why I came here. I was just like... It was just... out. You know, it was just... Every time I come back to camp, I just go rest right away. If you're right now, okay. I want to see my Pokemon. We'll switch uh, Machoke with... Damn, I have a lot. With Machamp. <laughs> don't think I got... Oh yeah, I got Rapidash. I don't think he will be... Yeah, there's no point of having him... Let me put all my stuff. Actually, I think I will end the video right here, actually. I think this will be a good place to stop for now. Because I do want to... Do want to just, you know, kind of explore here and there and, you know. Maybe I might do a, a connected video. Maybe I'll see, like, maybe I can just connect it to videos. So, yeah. So, anyways. Hope you make some enjoy today's video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. And you guys know how it is. Luigi Dan434 is out. Mm -hmm.